Here it is, Sam's Gap. The good old white blazes. Feels really good to get back on a trail. So this was just an overnight hike for me. I ended up only doing about 16 miles total. I hiked northbound on the Appalachian Trail and camped at the Bald Mountain Shelter, which is around mile 327 on the AT. A little steep through here. Ugh. Look at this. Oh, it looks like someone camped right here. Yeah, it's just a beautiful day in early fall here. Won't be long before the leaves start changing. Oh, it's gorgeous through here. Yeah, you know, last time I was through here was 2015. It must have been like stick season here. No leaves on the trees. Perfect weather. Damn, look at that. Stunning. Wow, we. Uh. <laughs> the green tunnel, ladies and gentlemen. The green tunnel. I don't know why I'm wearing this hat, but I'll be up on the balds here pretty soon. I think I've just about made it to Big Bald. I'm making really good time. Took me a little over three hours. I think we're about to reach this clearing. I can see it up ahead. Yeah, starting to open up a little bit. A little windy today. Might have to put the jacket on. It is a little chilly up here. It was pretty windy up top, so I muted some of the audio in these next few clips. Chilly up here. Here it is, the Bald Mountain Shelter. Some bear cables over here. They don't look like they're very high. Might have to mess with them. I'm here plenty early. I might sleep in the shelter. I don't know yet. Uh, there's a couple good camp spots around here for the tent, but I just kind of want to get back early tomorrow because I got a lot of stuff to do. Um, and eight miles back to the car tomorrow. The same way I came. I just don't want to wait to pack up a wet tent. So that'll save me a little time in the morning. And as long as there's nobody else in the shelter, there's nobody else here right now. Um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Whew. Nice and peaceful night. It keeps looking like it's gonna rain, but it's not. Like these giant, Dark clouds keep rolling over. But yeah, I'll show you guys the bear. The bear cable system looks a little messed up. I think I'm just gonna hang a bear bag over that branch right there and I don't know, I'll tie the line into a tree in there. But yeah, I don't know what happened to it. Or maybe it's just been so long that I haven't used one. Yeah. 
It looks like somebody hanged on it or something. Maybe a bear got it, pulled it down. I don't know, but check it out. It looks all jacked. Like, even if I clip my food up there, a bear's gonna be able to get that. It's only like eight feet. Yeah, man, I don't know what happened to this thing. Man, that water looks good right there. I tell you, anytime that there's a pipe spring, you can probably just drink this straight. I'm not going to, but I know a lot of people do, and they're fine. Um, but yeah, this is like definitely spring water that's going in here, so. And look at that. That's good water right there. So I ended up not sleeping in the shelter, mostly because I remember that I always sleep better in my tent, and it just turned out this was a really nice spot to set up. Well, you can tell it's a really foggy morning. Yeah, hopefully by the time I get up on top of Big Bald, the fog will be gone. But if not, I think it's kind of cool walking in fog sometimes. It's kind of like walking in a dream. But uh, a great night last night. I set up my tent over there. Ended up not sleeping in the shelter. Just uh, with mice and with COVID, I didn't want people coming in and sleeping really close. So yeah. Good night. It was a good night. Two other people came here last night. They set their tents up out back. Two firemen from Florida. Really nice guys. And uh, yeah, no bear activity. Really windy last night, surprisingly. But um, everything was good. So I'm going to hit the trail. It's just so quiet out here. So quiet and peaceful. It looks like it's cleared up. It'll be a great day up here. I'm gonna spend some time up here before I head back. Yeah. Another good day up here. Ugh. I muted the audio again here because the wind noise was just ridiculous. This is looking northbound on the AT right here. And then as I pan more towards the east, ever so slowly, I think this mountain on the horizon here is Mount Mitchell. I'm not 100% sure about that, but Mount Mitchell is the tallest mountain east of the Mississippi River. I'm definitely going to try and make it out there before it starts getting too cold. But anyways, back to Big Bald. This mountain is one of the rare 360 degree views that you get from southern Appalachia. Absolutely incredible up there. Well, I'm just about back to the trailhead. So thanks everyone, thanks for watching this video. We'll see you guys next time.